Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In the previous session, we have completed how to install the SQLize and how to successfully connect to the database. That is nothing but MySQL database. We have seen it. Now it's time for us to create a model. So if you try to see here the core concepts, in this one, the first topic is the model basics. So this is the first one which we need to learn right now. So now we have two type, two parts. So one is the product model and also the cart model. So let's try to create a product model first. <clears throat> so models are the important concept in the SQLize. So model is an abstraction that represents a table. So the model is only the thing which will represent the table in your database. So how we can define this model? Let's try to see. So here if you try to see the model definition. The model can be defined in the two ways. So one is using the init and also using the define. So we'll use this define thing. So here if you try to see SQLize dot define and user is the model name. And here you will be having all the column names which you are trying to represent the column names. So let's try to see whether we can able to implement it or not. If I go here into this one. So instead of creating this product.js or otherwise in this product.js only we can write it or otherwise we will create the product model <coughs> otherwise you will have this one product.js only so instead of that one so i am deleting this all the entire thing okay so which we are having right now model so i have deleted the entire thing now it's time for us to create a model for creating a model first constant product so product so whichever you want the product is equal to or otherwise what we will try to do is instead of having this one so we will keep it for the reference i will create a product model product model dot js file so this is our product model so i am creating constant product is equal to so sqlize so we need to use the sqlize which you need which need to be imported from the database and we need to call define method so first one is the model name so here this one is a product I can give like this and here the second option it comes the configuration object and here you need to mention all the fields all the column names which you are having in the table so first one is an id so here is, again it will be an object and here you need to mention what is the type of this one so the type is nothing but in begin or int whatever the thing you can mention it so this should be imported from the data types okay which is imported from the sqlize dot you will be able to find so many options here so begin you can have a begin or int also you can have it and the other one what you will be having is type you have mentioned hello null so you can say it as a false and auto increment this is an auto increment so you can say it as a true and you can say primary key as a true okay so if you want you can also say it as an unique also primary key is nothing but an auto increment and a unique key only so now primary key we have did it so next one is title so in this title so you can say that type it is of type data types dot string so you will be able to see so long uh, so many data types are supported in this one so i will try to show you that one also and hello null we can say it as a false that's it enough right so you can have also have description 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 so here we will try to have type data types dot text okay data type dot text this is of type text so which has the more data hello null false and the last one is price so this one is type data type dot double we can have a double which takes the decimal value also and i can say hello null false and the last one is image url image url type data type dot string and here you can have hello null false that's it so now we have created all the thing so what are the what are the <clears throat> column names that you want that, that, that are implemented in the product we are able to declare it 
so id title description price image url so if you want you can also mention the table name also here it will take a third parameter and in this one you will have a table name so in this one i can mention it is a products or otherwise it will take this one as a plural so it will convert into into the small lower case and it will convert this one to the plural so this is the thing so we can export the product here module dot sorry module dot export is equal to product that's it so this is done so we have created successfully we have created the model so if you try to see here in our project so this is how we have created so now we have this is another way which you can create using the class and init like this so there are so many ways how you can create it we will use the define method we will stick to one method only and here you are having data types dot integer auto increment true primary key true so these are all the things you can mention it and here if you try to see the users will never explicitly defined however the model was given user and this one will be converted to the plural so if you want another name or anything means you can mention the third one that is easily configurable i have shown you the table name <clears throat> so here freeze table name so enforcing the table name to be equal to the model name if you want the model name and the table name should be to be equal means you can have freeze table name to true so that means you need to mention here freeze table name so here you need to mention freeze table name so that means then the product name then the table name will be equal to this product thing so that is a different accept, uh, aspect so now the model name user will be pointing to the table name also the user so now if you want to provide the table name directly means you can provide it like this so the next one comes the model synchronization model synchronization means so this is when you define a model SQL, you are telling SQL a few things about its table in the database so now what happens is for example let's say that we have defined this model let's say that we don't have a table in this one so i am create i am deleting this table oh sorry i am deleting this table let's say that i don't have a table so i don't have this table products table i don't have a products table so right now we don't have a products table in our node e-commerce app so now what i want to do i have created a model here and now sqlize has a scenario that if a mo if a table if a more if a if a model is existing in the node.js and a table does not exist in the mysql so what it will try to do is so it will create the product it will create the products table with the fields what you have given it so it using these all fields what you have given it will create a products table so for that one what you need to do is you need to use the sync option okay so here you need to use the user dot sync that is nothing but a product here this time it is a product product dot sync force true means so when if a table is already existing it will create the table on the top of it so that means it will drop the table and it will create it alter true means so it will check that current state of the table and it will if any columns are existing or anything means it will it will create those all extra columns it is having so now let's try to create this one so if you want to create here what you will try to do let's go to the app.js and here we have used authenticate right so let's remove this one so now i want to create a table so here i can have product so which is from the product model dot sync i can use dot sync that's it so if you want you can use alter true force true these all thing force true means if a table is already existing means it will delete the table and it will create it alter true means if the columns if the table is already existing some of the columns are mismatching means it will add those columns or remove those columns it will do like this so here i am using dot then and we will get the result i will be using console.log of result so that's it now here i can use another one dot catch if any error comes we will try to use the error so console.log of error so that's it so now if i try to go here so now right now the pro uh, nothing is running here so if i try to run this one so no npm start so if i try to run this npm start it will take some time to start it let it start so let it take some time so it is running so here we are able to throw an error we, we got an error that unrecognized data type for attribute image url so what is that image url what is that we have given here okay so here we have given something like this right okay what is wrong here data type dot string where is the string yeah so let's try to run it so again it is trying to run so this time see 
it has created create table so you are able to see the table and table name also create table if not exist products id begin not null i auto increment title where care of 255 not null description text precision price double precision not null image url so all the things apart from this one we are also able to see that created it and updated it which was created by the sqlize itself so if you don't want to if you don't want these timestamps also you can configure it configure it now if i go to this one and if i refresh this database so here i am able to see the product so here id title description price image url created it and updated it has been created through the sqlize so using the sync option so whenever you are trying to do so you can use the sync option so apart from this one also what you can do is instead of using this product you can also use the sqlize okay so you can use the sqlize.sync so now what i will try to do is i will try to remove this one tape products again so i am deleting this products again drop the table drop now so it has been dropped in so now we don't have a products now this time what i am trying to do is instead of having this product.sync i am telling that it should be sqlize.sync so let's import this sqlize sqlize.sync so i am using the sqlize sqlize is imported or what at the top no it is not yeah sqlize is imported so i am using sqlize.sync so when you use this instead of using that single model uh, product.sync instead of that one if you use the sqlize.sync the sqlize will try to search all the models that are present in our project and it will try to create all the tables for that one so if you try to run the same thing so it has run it has already ran so now when i try to see here somewhere it will try to create it i think somewhere it will be so here at the top i at the top i think it will be able to see the yeah here it has created again the table if you go here and if you try to see the same thing let's refresh this page refresh all now here again we are able to see the products the same thing has been created using the sqlize.sync so advantage of sqlize.sync means it will search all the models that are present in our <coughs> application which was created using the sqlize.define and it will create all those tables when you use single model means it will create with the single model so that is a that is the beauty of this model thing so defining by this model we are able to sync the database with this one but with this one it should not be used in the production db so when you want to use it in the production so we need to use the sqlize cli migrations and all those things we'll try to see those migrations also afterwards that is not a part of this project so when we try to learn about the sql and all those things then we will try to learn these migrations so this is all about the model basics thing so defining a model in our node.js sqlize hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you